been saying it a lot today, but my goodness, it was a fantastic Friday. We had lower temperatures, lower humidity, a few clouds and at times, yeah, but for the most part, it was a great one to get outside, and we didn't have any rain to put football into a delay or get it canceled or anything like that. And as we settle into the rest of our Friday night, for many of us, it is very comfortable. 63 in Roxboro, 62 in Henderson, 64 for South Hill, as well as Roanoke Rapids. Upper 60s for Rocky Mount, Wilson, 67 in Sanford, but still 73 in Raleigh and Fayetteville, and 74 in Clinton. So we have some slightly warmer, slightly more humid air off to the south, but again, it is still rather comfortable, and it should be comfortable as we start out the morning. Temperature wise, 66 first thing in the morning, right before sunrise. But notice what's already happening. Our rain chances are starting to go up. We'll start out with some scattered showers in the morning, a bit of a break by midday. We'll call it lunchtime. Get not completely dry, but at least slightly lower chances for rain. And then by the afternoon into the evening and the nighttime hours, rain chances go right back up. Now, because of this cloud cover and all of the what we call rain cooled air, temperatures are going to be cooler than average. Tomorrow, only into the upper 70s. But again, it's going to be kind of a gloomy, rainy day. So if you have outdoor plants, make sure you have an indoor backup or at least have the umbrella handy if you do have to be outside for whatever reason. So let's time things out for you. Friday night, again, things are nice and calm. Cloud cover will increase overnight and eventually rain moves in from the south. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, and there it is. Mainly just moderate rain, very steady rain by this point. But again, as we go through the day, we will have waves of rain. Here's that secondary round coming in second half of the afternoon after lunchtime. This is when we could have some slightly heavier rain, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder, and again, a slight break before another round moves in overnight Saturday into Sunday. Sunday has the potential for heavier rain. It may not rain quite as often as what we will experience on Saturday, but the rain we do get will likely be heavier, and you see that here on Futurecast again through the morning. In to the early afternoon. By the evening, everything starts to clear away. We are expecting many of us to pick up up to an inch of rain, not only through the weekend, but through Monday as well. Monday is going to be a rainy day as well, and that is because we have multiple cold fronts moving in. So cold front number one is going to move in on Monday. The rain coming in this weekend has nothing to do with the cold front. It has to do with the low pressure coming up from the south. But cold front number one arrives on Monday. Cold front number two arrives on Tuesday. Behind that front, you see the decrease in rain chances. Not a big decrease in temperatures, but we'll bring in drier air, lowering those rain chances through the end of the week and into next weekend. Chris Clark, take it away with the Blitz.